So I'm interested in black holes, and this is why. The state of physics right now is very peculiar. We have two theories that describe the same universe extremely well. On one hand, we have general relativity, which tells us about the large-scale structure of the universe. Tells us, uh, tells us how galaxies are formed, how stars are created. And on the other hand, we have quantum mechanics, which tells us about the world of the really small. It tells us about atoms and light. And the thing that's peculiar is even though these two theories describe the exact same universe, they use two entirely different languages. General relativity uses geometry and curved surfaces, whereas quantum mechanics uses statistics and linear algebra. And so this is where my work comes in. I'm interested in situations where both theories are required to properly describe the physics that's going on. And black holes fit perfectly into this category. So what is a black hole? Well, it's a one-way membrane in our space-time that once we cross what's called the event horizon, there's nothing we can do to escape. Nothing can escape. Atoms can't escape, light can't escape, not us. Right? So the question I'm specifically interested in is suppose we have two black holes. And on the outside, they look identical. There's nothing different about them. But inside, inside the event horizon, their structure's different. Is there any experiment an observer standing outside the black hole can do to distinguish between them? Well, you'd answer no, right? Because there's no way any information from inside the black hole can leak out. But this is where quantum mechanics comes in. It turns out, by measuring what are called quantum fields, which are similar to electric fields or magnetic fields, we might be able to learn something about the inside structure of the black hole. What happens is the presence of these black holes cause these quantum fields to get excited. And when they get excited, they produce particles, like electrons and photons. And the rate at which these particles are produced is different and depends on the structure inside the black hole. And that's something an observer standing outside the black hole can measure. So this is really cool, because using general relativity and quantum theory, we've learned something about black holes that neither theory would tell us on its own. Right? So why should we care? Well, first, we've learned something about the quantum nature of black holes. And that's interesting in its own right. The second thing is, by asking questions that require both general relativity and quantum mechanics to answer, we get one step closer to discovering a unified theory of both. And that could have a huge technological impact on society, the way quantum mechanics did half a century ago with the advent of the laser. And on a more philosophical note, black holes challenge our everyday notion of space and time. And by studying them in a scientific way is our best way to gain insight into the nature of space and time. So that's why I'm interested in black holes. I hope you are now too. Thank you very much.